Six months later. Wow. So we're in the homicide place or whatever. The red lipstick murder. Okay. So I've seen gameplay of this. Uh, I don't really know anything about it, but I think I saw a gameplay of this like when the game came out or something. Like that must have been forever ago that I saw this. Okay. So there's a car. Lady crying. Not a good sign. No, no, not a good no, sign. No, no. Still not a good sign. No, no. Bad sign. No, Worst no. sign. No. Terrible sign. No. Horrendous sign. Another word sign. All right, gentlemen, take your seats. Oh, this guy. Yeah. Let's get this over before lunch. Clyde Rose of the Homicide Squad has decided to take early retirement. We will all miss Floyd and the steely edge he brought to his police work. The department has arranged a wee drink at the Galway Arms to quench the mighty thirst a man gets from 25 years of police work. Floyd's departure leaves a place at the top table, and the chief has seen fit to promote Cole Phelps from burglary to the homicide desk. Stand up, Phelps. Burglary. Take a chair. You're in the major leagues now, Sonny. Rusty Galloway, a fine lawman of the old school, will be taking you under his wing. Uh. Your first case is the murder of a woman, found last night and bearing all the signs of the werewolf. Get out to the scene, lads. The werewolf. Okay. Completing a desk, unlock streets of LA, line you patrol the city and attend street crimes. Each desk homicide. I mean, what? You know you've made it if you got that desk. Interesting. Okay. Whatever. So th this is the you guy. the address. It's been all over KGPL. It's off Temple Street, between Belmont and Glendale. What is America going to understand? So this is the guy that I saw that we're partners with. So I was wondering when we'd actually get to hang out with this guy. Okay, so this guy is our new dude. Do we have a new car? I hope. Is this I'd new? You took the this is new. Oh, uh, so it's like undercover, I guess. It's kind of crappy looking though. <laughs> Okay, let's see. Auto enthusiast. So we've unlocked five cars. There's like a ton more though. Okay. What happened to Rose? Parker wants the chief's job. Word is it's either going to be him or Thad Gray. So they're both clearing the deck. Shh. Too many people talking. <laughs> okay, wait. So we're going all the way over there. This is kind of. Mm, it's kind of out of the way. Let's just head this way, especially since we got Lou Galloway. Leaves me saddled with a chump like you, Phelps. I didn't ask for you, and I don't want you, so keep it to yourself. See if you can learn something about seeing how a real cop operates. What did he mean by the werewolf? Medallion. Uh, the Daily News came out calling him the werewolf killer. The examiner came up with uh, the black dahlia. Were we any closer to catching him? Not a chance. Six months and hundreds of guys running down leads, and we got nothing. You don't think this has anything to do with it? No, I don't. 90% of murders are domestic, Phelps. Some guy gets into a beef with his wife, he takes it too far. This will be the same. But cutting someone in half and leaving them off the sidewalk, that's a one-off. Why so many women this year? Because of the war. You should know that. Guy gets to kill people every day in combat. Comes home, he's expected to take lip from his wife. What do you think's gonna happen? It's that simple. Like I said, most of the time it is. So, there's been, like, a murder on the loose, pretty much? That's interesting. Okay. So, let's see if we can figure out what's up with this then. Uh, let's see. So, can we smush this? Yes. Shortcut. Shortcut. Oh, just right here on the mur- on the, uh, on the murder? Right here on the side? Oh, no, no, it's further up. Okay. Crime scene is just on the dirt road, detective. Okay. I'm, like, flying up here. Gosh. Okay. Why did I just honk right there? <laughs> what the heck? Okay. Time to see 9.35 in the 8 to the end. How about a scoop for the examiner, Galloway? You could use some good press. Another tramp, another message. Is the werewolf back in business, boys? Do you have a mother, asshole? A sister? How about showing some respect for this poor woman? Let us do our job, and Detective Galloway will give you a statement later. He's good, Rusty. He even sounds genuine. That's Phelps, guys. The war hero. Defending the honor of murdered humps. You're used to it, Phelps. Moving along, guys. You got your pictures, you got your headlines. Now scram. 
Okay, let's go. These guys seem like jerks. Oof. Lots of blood. Lots of footprints. And a body. Ugh. Okay. Let's see what's up. Patrolman, this your beat? Yes, sir. Well, part of it. Kids park here, they use it like a lover's lane. It's a working neighborhood. Some trouble, but nothing like this. It's uh, known locally as the Moors. You were first on the scene? Yes, detective. No one's disturbed the body? No, sir. We cleared out them vulture reporters so Pinker and the coroner could work. They're waiting to talk to you. Go house to house and see what you come up with. Okay. So, what are we doing with here then? So, uh, Brothers, Phelps, you make homicide? Looks like it. Galloway has been making me feel welcome. <laughs> I bet he has. Has the scene been secured? The trauma and Houlihan saw to it. The victim's personal effects are still where they fell. Okay. Uh, let's look at that first. We're gonna look at the personal effects. Maybe. I'm like stumped. It. Ideas? No, wait. I'm not the stuck. crime scene, isn't it? I'm trying to click Don't on you stuff. Just stand there, take a look around. Okay. Hairbrush. Just a hairbrush, probably. Okay. And then purse. Let's see who she is. Maybe something like that. The victim's bag. Keys, lipstick. Ah, okay. Let's see. Looks brand new. Can't be the one used on the body. Hmm. Okay, so there's like lipstick written on the body, so that's not the one. Someone like had some. What? Okay, I don't know. Let's let's look at the body. Let's see what's up with it? Cause of death? It could be the head injuries. She has been badly stomped. Hmm. Stomped. Interesting. Okay. Uh, let's look at her arm. What about mm. this wound on the finger? Something removed, a ring most likely. I assume it was taken post-mortem. Yes. okay. So we need to find a ring then. Uh, let's look at her other arm. Seems to be fine, okay. Let's look at her head, because she's got a lot of problems with her head. What caused the blunt force injury to the face? Yes. Could be anything from a baseball bat to a lug wrench. I'll have more details after the autopsy. Mm. Okay. Uh, someone like, yeah, someone like stepped on her. Man. Okay. Uh, anything else? It was just the writing, hands, hands. Okay. What's the writing on the victim mean? BD, Black Dahlia, Tex. Your guess is as good as mine. Could be something to it, or could be the killers trying to throw you off the scent. Either way, I'll run tests on the lipstick. Any idea of the time of death? From the temperature, I'd say after midnight. I'll confirm with you later. Hmm. Okay. So they got a cast of the footprint? I assume. That's why that one's white. What can white. you tell me about the shoe prints? Size 8. Men's size 8s. Pinker lifted impressions for me to compare back at the lab. Okay. Blood. Assuming it's hers. Um. What's this? Is this what was used? It's like some kind of puzzle or parlor game. Oh, look. I just solved this. Um, let's see. Almost. Almost. Should've gone the other way. Oh, not almost. Not even close to almost. Uh. <laughs> Let's see. Wait, I don't know my <laughs> my countries or continents or anything. Okay, uh, so that's right. Africa, where are you? Uh, what's wrong? Wait, what? This, there it is. Okay, I'm an idiot. And then, oh, wait. Wait, can I not move the bottom one? I can't move the bottom one. Oh, shoot. Okay, well. Let's just move everything over. Okay, my bad. I should have gone off the base first. Uh, probably should have gone this way. <laughs> I'm making this 
Like, way more difficult than it needs to be. Gosh. Okay, maybe I shouldn't have gone this way. Maybe I should have just gone the other way. Gosh, I'm an idiot. Okay. And then... This one. There we go. Oh, gosh. Hello? What? Bomba Club. Why steal a table lighter? Yeah, that's an intricate table lighter. Very strange. Okay. Whatever. And we get to the Bomba, man could die of thirst in a case like this. Hmm. Okay. Is that about it? Anything I need else? to get back to it, Phelps. Hmm. You think we're here or are you just chilling? Okay. I think that's about it. Um, so just a messed up body. She was like beaten to a pulp, had a head injury, stuff like that. Um, and then I think I left in the rest of the stuff. Um, okay. Let us get out of here. What are you doing? You need to go to the Bomba Club and find that lighter. Let's see what's up with that. Okay. Where are we? Okay. Let me back out of here, please. There we go. Okay. To the Bomba Club. Let's see what's up. Um, what was it saying about the case files? Like, we can do... What? I'm not dudes. Like, we could go do side quests or something? That thing that, like, at the beginning said something like that. I'm not quite sure what that was about. Anyway, it's not important. I Werewolf? Just to that money? Uh, Copycat. We can't rule it out. We need to work the evidence. <laughs> You'd love that, wouldn't you? A big head to hang on your wall. Caller of the decade. You could work in evidence on BD case for six months and got next. Ah! I think you're gonna kill us! Ah! Uh, sorry. I, like, tapped it and just went crashing into him. Sorry. <laughs> There's a difference, Rusty. Oh, yeah? I just started working it today. Okay, hot shot. What's more likely? The werewolf comes back around, leaving us in the forts? He clearly has a thing for power. Power over women. Why not power over the police department as well? Let me finish, fellas. A guy opens his mouth again after six months of stooping. Or some opportunist who's been reading about the BD figures, he'll rip off the MO and get himself a free. That's not totally fantastic. Well, the examiner in the Daily News might be good at coming up with monikers, but they're terrible for police. Work. There's a reason we didn't get the son of a bitch after the short murder was them, locusts. Where do you think the werewolf killer is now? Uh, dead by his own hand, stationed somewhere else with the armed forces. San Quentin, another town, another country, who knows? So, Phelps, I understand uh, you want to turn this into a big case, but it doesn't work like that, all right? A case will come and find you. You can't make it something it ain't, understand? So you don't think the werewolf has continued to operate in the Los Angeles area? No chance. We would have found him. Hmm. This officer needs help. Bank of America, 7th and Olive. Officer needs help. Bank of America, 7th and Olive. Two Wait, isn't that where, like, the complete opposite direction? Ooh. Crime scene. Is that the same thing? It's not. Oh, that's the crime scene that we just came from, idiot. I was like, there's a crime scene there. Yeah. I hadn't seen that symbol before. Yeah, sorry, I'm not helping with that. Again, they're always like the complete opposite direction. I guess that'd be kind of odd if they were just always on your way. They'd be kind of weird. Oh gosh, okay. Let's see here. So yeah, um, this is interesting. So, I don't know. Could it be a copycat killer? Would it be the same person? I feel like it's probably the same person. Now, like I said, I didn't see gameplay of this. Oh gosh, a long time ago. But I don't think I saw too much. Oh wait, what? Damn. Uh, I'm just gonna get out before I'm gonna wreck or something. We're, we'll just walk the extra distance. <laughs> um. So anyway, um, yeah. But like I said, I saw gameplay, but I don't think I saw what actually like who the killer is or anything like that. So anyway, let's go to the club and then maybe we can get some more information as to like what this actually is. <laughs> no one knows how to dance the bebop. What's up with that? Okay. Um, that was the whole point of jazz, wasn't it? It was just music to kind of dance to. Not the whole point, but you know what I mean. Like that was a big selling point about it. Okay. Ooh, got a flirt in here. This is a cool place. Gentlemen, what can I get you? Phelps and Galloway, LAPD. Were you working here last night? Yes. How can I help, officer? You can start with your name. Garrett Mason. You're the regular bartender on nights? I'm a temporary barman. I work for an agency. I fill in at bars across town. Do you remember a woman who came in here last night? Uh, five feet seven, about 110 pounds. 
blonde hair, about 40 years of age. You mean Celine Henry? Hmm. Yes. Do you know anything about her? I don't. But the owner, Mr. McCall, serves her most nights. Would you like to speak to him? I would. He sits at the back of the club. Where's a hibiscus? You can't miss him. Is there anything else? Fly hmm. away, Phelps. I'll stay here. I'm a little parched. <laughs> Pour me three fingers of rye. Okay, so sits in the back. Oh yeah, look, this is him right here. Dang, look at him. What's his deal? Detective Phelps, LAPD. We're investigating the murder of Celine Henry. Do you know her? Celine? Oh, Christ. Are you going to pay for that? Sure, I know her. She and I and Jacob, her husband, we go way back. She was here last night. Sure, she's a regular. Celine is was a. Lovely woman. Hmm. Now, that seems odd. Okay. Was Mrs. Henry here with anyone last night? Not at first. Celine already had quite a head start. But she attracted attention? Certainly. A few gentlemen became very enamored with her and her stories. One guy in particular. truth I mean he's not lying you know him no he's been in a couple of times did they leave together yes at around 11 if it helps I made the guy's license plate dang really that's interesting <sighs> to the AA. I think this could be a great help sir thank you get him to give up the license plate that was an achievement? Really? That was super easy. Okay. Cool. Okay. Oh, wait, Tris. Can I have another um, well, that went well. Um, knowledge of husband. Yeah, where is this guy? You know the husband? Sure, I know Jacob. He was in the Corps. He met Celine on a furlough and married her when the war was finished. He put up with a load of shit. Do you think he killed his wife? No. No, not in my opinion. He doesn't seem to be positive about that. There's something going on. So if it wasn't Jacob, then you probably let her out of here with the guy who killed her. How do you feel about that? What? Stole the attitude, Yeah, William. that was dumb. I tried to get on to Jacob. I rang him up. Asked him to come pick her up like usual. But he refused. And she picked some night to push him over the edge. Uh oh. I rang him back around 11.30, but I got no answer. Ooh. Oh, okay, that was actually the right thing to say. So, okay, so at 11.30, we gotta remember this, 11.30 and came back. I mean, I mean, he called and, like, he wasn't anywhere, so that's suspicious. Mrs. Henry appeared to be missing a ring, torn from her finger, but not her wedding finger. Celine always wore a red garnet ring on the large side. Larger than life, like Celine herself. Did she have it a long time? Sure. Since way back in her flying days. Did her husband buy it for her? No, it was, uh, it was before Jacob. Uh-oh. Ooh, did he buy it? I think you know where the ring came from, and I think you're gonna tell me. Okay. I bought it years Ooh. ago. I carried a torch for Celine in those days. Yes, I always have. Her old man never knew about it. Dang. Thanks, Mr. McColl. You've been a big help. One more thing. Would you have an address for Celine? 142 North Union Avenue. God knows I had to send her home in enough cabs to remember that. Dang. Where's that goddamn... Well, we did pretty good about the, uh... You know, like, we, uh... We got three out of three there. I feel pretty good about that. Um... Okay, too many people talking. You get hey, more nervous. Where's Let's the get out of phone? Here. Oh wait. Hey, what's the hurry? What's this? The stool is just starting to warm up nicely. Coat check. Coat check. Incidental. There's nothing there. Um, what about this yeah, phone. Oh, I want that phone, not this phone. <laughs> I was like, give me this phone. It's important. Operator, message for KGPL. 
We have not done the address? Or what are we calling about? Phelps, one, two, four, seven. How could I help, detective? I need a registered owner on a license plate, two ah. boy eight eight nine nine. Yes, detective. I'll need to contact the DMV. Shall I relay the details via KGPL? Please. Thank you. What? That was odd. Okay. So we're gonna have to wait. What was that about? Oh, whatever. Uh, so we need to figure out the license plate soon. Oh crap! I didn't bring my car around. Dang it! I gotta go find it. Okay, whatever. Um, so we need to go. What, wait, what are we doing? So we were going to her house. Yeah. Okay. Going to her house. Okay. We gotta figure out this license plate thing too. Maybe we. So maybe we can call back and they'll have it by then. Wait, where's my car? Is it? Over there. Oh, it's in this parking lot. Okay, love it. Oh yeah, oh yeah, I forgot we parked over here. Okay. Man, my car sucks. <laughs> it looks so ugly. I want a different car. You here, buddy? Where you at? Okay. Henry residence. Uh yeah, let's go. Where'd he go? Come on, dude. I need you to run faster than that. I'll be turning us around while you're like waiting to get in. Oh yeah, I forgot I ran over my other partner. <laughs> Don't worry, you're in safe hands, my friend. You find totally the booze helps hands. you get through a working day. Sharp is my investigatory instincts, fellas. A smart lawyer might use that to throw out anything you collect today. A smart man might know it's unwise to stand between the patient and his medicine. As long as you're not falling over, Rusty, I'll let it slide. <laughs> That's mighty kind of you, Phelps. You know, you picked the wrong job if a healthy thirst offends you, Cole. We owe it to this city to do the best we can in this position. As homicide detectives, that responsibility is all the more serious. Always the politician. It's not political, it's practical. Maybe the men combing Hollywood Boulevard after the Elizabeth Short murder were more interested in sniffing out booze than the clues that would have led to her killer. Yeah, well, if only you'd been there, choir boy. Betty Short would be alive, the Japs would have spared Pearl Harbor. Our ancestors wouldn't have tasted the forbidden fruit. Minor syntactical error, Detective Galloway. I never claimed to be able to prevent crimes. I only suggested a proficiency in solving them. Guess that's the drink slowing you down. Oh my god, brother, oh brother. Worse than I could ever have imagined. <laughs> this isn't a good start. Uh, let's see, let's go... Left, I guess. The street's completely blocked off. Okay. Um, yeah, I don't know how this is going to work out with our partner. Uh, we don't seem to be hitting it off, and he's, like, drinking on the job and stuff. I don't know. Oh, gosh, another... Okay, everything's blocked off. Let's go this way. Is this way blocked off? Uh, I'm scared. You're turning left. Okay, not anymore. Ha-ha! Okay. It's just up here. So, what about... Okay, what about the husband? So, 11.30... Oh, gosh! I almost ran someone over. 11.30... He didn't answer the phone, so that's... Oh, gosh, that's leaning toward it was him who killed her. Um, I don't think... Would it be the bartender? No, nah, there's no way it's him. What about the... What about the, um... The plate, though, you know? Like, like who could it have been that took her home if it wasn't her husband? That's kind of strange. So there's some dude that took her home. That's, like I said, that's kind of odd. Uh, oh, shoot. Oh, shoot. Yeah! I mean, my frame rate is just, like, abysmal. I, need, I don't know. I'm not sure what's up with that. Oh, shoot. I should just turn left there. Crap. Uh, we'll turn down this. This. Oh, gosh. Sorry. Go ahead. Go, go ahead. Go ahead. It's fine. <laughs> this road. Okay. Here we go. Let's see. So their house should be right here. Yeah, I don't know. I, I, it's either the husband or whoever took her home. So we need to figure this out. Let's sleep. Henry residence, 10:57 a.m. Hmm. Wait, where's the freaking front door? Oh, sorry. <laughs> I was like, where's the front door? Hello. I'll try the back door. Wait here a second. Okay. 
Good idea. Maybe he's just not here still. What's up with that? Ooh. Uh. Okay. Oh gosh, that scared me. What the heck? Lots of alcohol. Should probably. Uh, oh gosh. Side window's been jimmied. Looks like something's creeped the joint. Really? Okay, so let's look around then. The heck? What are these? It's odd looking. Junk. That's very <laughs> strange looking. Uh, okay, let's go to the window first. Where was the window? I kind of want to like start from there. Okay, so there's a door. Broken window. Broken from the outside, obviously. Burglar used the pry bar. Why did you kick the door in? You think I'm gonna climb through a broken window in a thirty-dollar suit? You got another thing coming, Buster. <laughs> yeah, I'll say you shouldn't like climb through there. Not the junk. Um, who would have broken in? If you sober up, you'd find me an apartment too. Me and Jacob are obviously having problems. It speaks to motive. Crime scene evidence still weighs against it being the husband, but Jacob could give us something to go on. If one of my exes drank like this, he'd be feeling the back of my hand. Call in burglary and get technical services out here. I'll talk to the neighbors. The neighbors? Don't take all day about it, fellas. I get nasty when I'm thirsty. <laughs> it's like an alcoholic. Should we call in something? No, you're gonna call in something. Okay. Anything else? Okay, Galloway, this is just badge, her five, stuff. Oh, this is goggles. Regular Amelia Earhart. Oh, is that Mark's Reed? Distinctive. Huh, so that's the murder victim. Interesting, okay. So she flew and stuff. That's cool. Oh, wait, is this the ring? No, 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 no. I don't care about this crap. This, this. No, dang it! There's a ring thing right there. I don't care about that. Can I, can I use it? Yeah, there we go. We need the ring. It's empty. Tiffany. Tiffany. Of course, the stuff is junk. Might explain the missing ring. Interesting. So, did they steal it from here? Wait, what's up with the ring? Something's up with that ring. That's interesting. Hmm. I doubt it. Okay. So, we need to find the ring. We should go to Tiffany's. Um. What's that? Blow dryer? That's cool. Don't give me anything to go on. Okay. Um. Oh. <clears throat> sorry. 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 Nothing happened there. Okay. Let's go somewhere else. That's probably about it, right? Uh, we looked in here. Those goggles were like a flying goggle things. Oh, yeah, I haven't looked in here yet. Wait. What is? Wait. Ooh. What's this key? Nothing significant. It's a key. Keys open things. You don't tell me that's not significant. <laughs> um. Wait, what? A shoe. Just a shoe? Size nines. Above average for a lady. Really? Okay. Was it? Is it her shoe though? Do you know what size she wears? I guess maybe the autopsy. Do they do that? Do they like measure their feet? To see what, I, I, mean, I guess obviously, right? Because you get to see, you know, like what shoe they'd be wearing. I don't know. <laughs> Seems like an odd thing. The heck? Is she one of the neighbors? I need to talk to the neighbors. Excuse me. Can I speak with you, please? LAPD, are you acquainted with Celine Henry, Miss? Horgan, Jennifer Horgan. I've known Celine for more than 10 years. Our children grew up together. W what's going on, officer? Did you see Mrs. Henry go out last night? Well, I'm no busybody, you understand, but Celine had been drinking, and she and poor, long-suffering Jacob had a terrible row. I think Jacob may have given her a black eye. 
He stormed out and she went back inside. Did he come back? No. Celine was listening to music and shouting until she left around 10 p.m. She was very drunk to have been driving. But she is not the sort of person you can stop from doing something when her dander is up. What is this about, officer? Is Celine all right? I'm afraid Mrs. Henry has been murdered, ma'am. Murdered? Oh, my God. I'm afraid I need to go and then sit down. Hmm. Is there anything else there? Or is she... That's just kind of, like, normal? I guess not. Marital problems. Is there any other neighbors to talk to? I kind of doubt Let's it. Let's see what Jacob has to say for himself. I don't think Jacob is our man, but we should see what he has to say. Yeah, I agree. I don't think he has anything to do with it. I think we need to, we need to figure out who had the uh, the license plate. Jacob's apartment. Let's go. Uh, Jacob Henry had a violent argument with his wife last night. He's looking more and more likely. Uh, with my money, if the broad keeps the house looking like that, she probably deserved it. <laughs> Skipper says bring him in. We keep the hacks off her back for a while. Fine by me. So it ain't the werewolf killer after all. Good to see you come to the census, Paul. I always said work the evidence. I only stipulated a connection to the BD killer as an avenue of investigation we should leave open. And as far as I'm concerned, it still is. All units, officer needs help. 211 and shots fired. 391 Broadway, Mallory's Cafe. 391 Broadway. Where is it? Is it close? It's not even close. I'm sorry. <laughs> I drove all the way here without like crashing or anything. We have we have to do this. Oh gosh! Watch it, will you? <laughs> I saw I was like, we did it safely, and then this guy just hits me from the side. I haven't really been like cheap on yet. It's interesting. Okay. I guess it wasn't paying attention to the light. Okay, oh gosh, this is the uh, apartment right here. Where? Wait. Is it this? Or no, it has to be this. This is like an apartment complex. Shoot, I should have pulled. I keep walking everywhere. I should have just pulled it around. Okay. Jacob Henry's apartment. I guess too if you. We go in hard. You follow my lead. Wait, why? Why do we have guns? The heck? Why do we have guns? You Jacob Henry? Yeah. Who's asking? The heck? LAPD. You're under arrest for the murder of your wife, Celine Henry. Murder? Celine? Save the dramatics. Oh, oh my for RKO, God! Pal, you got bigger problems. What the hell are you talking about? You come in here, you, you tell me that Celine is... Take a seat, Mr. Henry. That she's... We're gonna have a look around, I... then we'll talk. Jesus, I'm sorry. I... <sighs> yeah, I don't think he did it, but we know that, though. So I think we're just trying to scare him. I get even the slightest hint. Um, okay, let's see what this is. To move the pencil. Oh yeah, I was about to say we should probably do that. Um, wait, what? Thanks for the wait, what? No, don't. Thanks for the offer. I need you to do something about my wife. The oldest problem there is: what to do about the old lady? Death threat. Oh, that's great. Maybe it's not a death threat though. He'll be back in a moment. Just sit tight. Ooh. I don't think this is going to help us. Okay. Not a weapon. Just the bat. It just likes the baseballs. Okay. Let's go. Wait. Can we just double check this door down here? Make sure there's nothing here. Nope. Okay. There is a door here, though. So. Let's see what's in here. Is he going somewhere? What's up with this? Oh, yeah. Let's see what size it is. 11. But that's not. Size 11s. They were size 8s, weren't they? At the crime scene? Wait, what's that? Guitar, yeah! The funny you picked up and started playing. No, no. Um, let's see anything over here. Just a hat and a chair. What is that? Drunk chickens? Okay. 
Um, so there's that. I didn't make a call. No. Anything in the trash? Tends to be stuff in the trash sometimes. Um, I think that's about it. The alcoholism illness. That's I actually don't think so. Kind of interesting. I think maybe he's trying to get help for her. <sighs> I have to do something about my wife, you know. Um, so who could have killed Celine? Where did she go last night, Jacob? A bar, I suppose. No. Look, I don't know. Yeah, I doubt that. We get the impression that Celine liked to live the glamorous life. How did she end up with a hump like you, Jacob? Dang. Celine was one of the first woman pilots. She hung out with movie stars and royalty. But when she came back here broke and struggling, she married a mechanic, put a roof over her head, food on the table. Not glamorous, but the best I could do. I'm not ashamed about that. Oh. I failed that? What? Okay, I don't know. That's weird. Uh, let's contact. When did you last see your wife, Mr. Henry? Last night. I went to see her. We talked. Things got a little out of hand. I left. This is the truth. You don't remember what time you last saw your wife alive? Look. Sorry. I left. Maybe 9 p.m. Might have been a little later, but right around 9. Okay. Uh, motive. Why did you kill her, Jacob? Things will go better if you come clean about it. That's a lousy thing to say. I never gave up on my wife. Okay, well, that's a lie. You went to her house, you fought, you beat her, she left, and then you followed her. I left first. She tried to batter me with a frying pan. I had to slap her down. Understandable. <laughs> really? I get that wrong? So you can prove that you came back here after you left your wife's place. I came back here, I was here all night. Start work at 6.30. I'm not the going out type. Wait. He's not the going out type. I thought that... Um... Not the... What do you say? Not the going out... I don't know. I just say doubt, I guess. His eyes. So you were here, tucked up in bed, while someone was out there beating your wife's brains out. That's all you've got? Talk to the bartender at the Bomba Club. He'll tell you, he called here last night. Yeah. I answered the phone. We're still gonna need you to come down. I'm an idiot. Mr. Henry. We can get this all down on paper, I should've said truth. How you got fed up with your wife and how you figured killing her would bury all your troubles. What? Him? Kill my own wife? She was a loss of the tramp and you just couldn't stand it anymore. Shut your goddamn mouth. <laughs> so now you're gonna tell me you loved her? Ah, the DA goes all gooey over remorse, Jacob. Oh my gosh. Dang, Doesn't dude. look good for you, Jacob. Okay. Oh gosh, I forgot I was a freaking fight. What? Dang. Why? That seems a bit much. Why are you attacking him? Okay. Come on. Call it in and get a squad car dispatched. And check for messages. I'll keep old Slugger here company. <laughs> <laughs> we need to see about the uh, license plate as well. We need to see what's up with this. Why didn't we talk about the death threat with him? That, that's kind Operator, of. Operator, give odd. me dispatch. Putting you through now. Cole Phelps, batch 1247. How can I help, Detective? I need a patrol unit to transport a suspect back to Central. Certainly, Detective. You have a message from the coroner. Do you wish to be put through? Yes, ma'am. Carruthers. It's Phelps. I've completed the autopsy. Several wounds to the head from a blunt metal instrument. 
closest match would be a socket wrench handle. So the cause of death was the blow? No, the blows to the head, surprisingly, were not fatal. Death was from hemorrhage and shock from the fractured ribs and multiple injuries caused by the stomping. Anything else? He's some kind of sex fiend. The tissues of the anus were bruised about one-eighth of an inch, but no trace of semen in the anus, vagina, or stomach. Thanks, Doc. Operator, give me R and I. Any word on an owner for that vehicle? License was two boy eight eight nine nine. Yes, detective. The plate belongs to a brown nineteen thirty six Pontiac. Registered owner is one Alonzo Mendez of four zero two South Fremont Street, apartment sixteen. Thanks. Any other messages? One detective. From Captain Donnelly. He wants any and all suspects returned to Central. Interviews to be set up immediately. Got it. We're coming in. Okay. So we need to interrogate him and then check out this uh, crime scene. I mean, this apartment. Whatever. Hmm. What should we do first? Should we talk to um, him or should we go to the apartment? I kind of want to go to the apartment. Uh, yeah. Alonzo Mendez. Sound like a man who moonlights as the werewolf? Don't sound like a man I'd let my daughter in. You've got a daughter. Spend enough time drinking, Cole, you'll find yourself with any number of things you don't want when you're sober. <laughs> so that's why you never sober up. Exactly. Damn. Okay. Your brother said she took a real pounding. Maybe if he had been a little firmer in the beginning, he wouldn't be in this situation now. I imagine that Neanderthal routine is a big hit with the ladies, Galloway. Women love me, Phelps. I have no complexity. They know exactly what they're gonna get. Oh, gosh. Okay. She's right here. Uh, let's see. Beep, beep, beep. Excuse me. <laughs> okay, Mendez's apartment, 11 37 a.m. Yeah, I think we should talk to him, and then maybe we can see if there's any connection. Uh... Let's see which one is Mendez. Ah. Mendez is sixteen. Okay. Mendez, apartment sixteen. All right, let's go find him. Uh, I'm assuming this is gonna be next story. Yeah. Okay. Wait. Uh, top four. Really? Okay. I don't want to climb Here. all these stairs. The apartment's up on the top floor. Great. <laughs> Way too many stairs. Uh, two, three, four. Okay, that should be it. Um, so wait, what do you say, 16? Don't ah. bother knocking, just kick the door in. Take a look around and see what you can find. Hmm. Bit messy. What's oh, another uh, thing I need? Newspaper? Nope. Okay. Anything in here? Let's go down here. Usually, there's something in the room, usually. Just a stinking thing. That's normal. Uh, okay, anything in here? Hello? Oh my gosh, what is this? Okay, well this... That's the metal instrument, right? It has to be. Oh, shoot. Consistent with Celine's injuries, and the blood can be typed. Oh, snap. There's the uh, lipstick as well. Crap. Well, this doesn't look good. Wait. Come on. A little bit right there. Zoom in. Wait, where are you going to zoom in? Zoom in. Please. Hi, wait. Where's he getting zooms from? Uh, hello? Is he not gonna zoom in? <laughs> I don't know. Oh, oh, there it is. Brothers could match the color and brand of the body. Okay. That's interesting, because they probably have like a, a certain chemical they use and stuff, so that's so they can match it. That's crazy. Okay, what is in there? Is that the killer's clothes? We have the murder weapon. We better get Pinker down here. <sighs> Why keep it? Why not throw it away? You think these clowns are geniuses? 
Thank your stars you caught a break. Captain Donald would begin to like you. Hey, what gives? LAPD, you're under arrest. Shoot. Do not lose that Wait, son of a bitch. Where is he going? I'll go get our wheels. Okay. Yeah, you that do that. Stop right there. Okay. This guy would appear to be the killer. <laughs> because he has everything right there. That's not good at all. Okay. You don't need to do this, Alonzo. Come on. Okay. Where do you go? I always lose them. I'm like, oh, where do you go? Oh gosh. Okay, come on. Slide down. Oh, look at him go. Oh gosh, there he goes in the car. Will my friend pick me up, I hope? Come on. Get in and drive. Get in and drive. Oh. <laughs> okay, let's go. Where's he going? There he is. Watch out, friends. Hey, dude, can you just stop? Shoot. Uh, let's see, let's get beside him, maybe. Ah! Dang me! Okay. Good. Don't kill people. Shoot. Uh, sorry, guys. Oh my gosh. It's in that plane. Hey. Ooh, okay. Oh wow. I got He's an idea. Crazy. Get him next to my window. Ah. Keep me alongside his vehicle, and I'll stop the son of a bitch. Okay. What are you gonna do? You'll we'll attempt to disable fleeing suspects. Hit him, Cole. Spin him out. No, you said. I thought you said get inside. I'll try to shoot out his tire. Okay. Wish you me did. luck. I think, I think you did it. Yeah, you did it. Nice. Okay. Uh, wait. Let's, let me pull up a little bit and, and get out. Okay. We're You're under go arrest for the murder side. of Celine Henry. <laughs> Show me your hands. <laughs> that went really well. Got an uh, achievement for, I guess, disabling him with my partner, I think. So that's interesting. <sighs> well then. You're in the lockup now, my friend. I ain't saying a goddamn thing. Okay. Interesting. So, did he do it though? Because you did a grand job, lads. Phelps, that's quite a way to acquit yourself in your first outing as a homicide investigator. Oh, that was it. It seems the city has a new and vengeful guardian. Considering the evidence against your suspect. And the thoroughness with which a report was compiled, I foresee a safe passage through the courts, and the DA agrees with me. Brutality on a scale such as this deserves retribution. The people and the press of this city demand it. Nice. <laughs> That's funny. Okay, so that was it? So, disabled suspect without... Uh, with help from your partner, yeah, okay. So I guess I should have gone and talked to what's-his-face. See, this is something I don't like because, see, it's in the back. Even if you did leave Jacob sweating in Central Lockup. Because, see, for me, I feel like, wouldn't it be better to catch the suspect than, like, go talk to a dude or something? You know, like, I didn't know I was supposed to be in that order. So, you know, I just I just think that's kind of odd that it, it kind of, like, punishes you for that. So, I don't know. That's just me. That, that was good, though, either way.